Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilllink. Today, I wanted to answer one important question that a lot of students ask before enrolling into our course, right? Let's see what that question is. How does Skilllink help me get a job after I finish my Skilllink master course, right? Uh, so as you know, there are two types of courses, individual courses and career packs or master courses, right? So our master courses are job oriented courses. And the question is after you finish a job oriented course, how does Skilllink help you get a job, right? Let's see what is the process that we follow, right? Each master course consists of six modules. So you can think each module as one individual course. So if you, when you enroll in one master course, you're enrolling in six individual courses in a particular domain. It can be a CFD domain, FEA domain or design domain, right? So each module, which is basically each individual course consists of four projects and eight assignments, right? All these four projects and eight assignments are industry relevant projects. So what does industry relevant projects mean? If you go into an automotive industry, they will be using the same type of projects or assignments for their day to day activities. So that is what industry relevant projects means. And what do we do while uh, developing these projects? We make sure that we cover the right theory with the essential software skill set that you need to know in order to do well in your job. Right. So that is how our course curriculum is designed. Right. So when you work on four projects and eight assignments in one coursework, what happens when you work on uh, uh, four projects and eight assignments in six courses? So you just multiply it by six. So overall, by the end of a skilling master course, you work on 20 plus industry relevant projects. Right. So what happens when you have 20 plus industry projects? Right. You basically create a portfolio you build a strong portfolio. Like now you cannot imagine what a portfolio will be like. Let me show what a portfolio is, right? So I'm, I've just projected uh, a student's portfolio over here, right? So this is Amit Mohanty's portfolio and this is Amit Mohanty's unique portfolio. So for example, if you see the URL over here, so you can see it's projects.skilling.com Amit Mohanty. So if you are Kaushik, and you are enrolling into our course and you are working on these projects, then you will have profiles slash Kaushik and your unique ID, ID number there as well, right? So this is your, you can think about this like your detailed LinkedIn page where you will have your about section, but that is not the only thing, right? So then you will have your projects that you have worked on. So this is one project that Amit has worked on. So these are the different projects that Amit has worked on in the coursework as a part of our master's course, right? Now, let's say we want to take a look at one coursework work right so I can just click on this project and see what Amit has done in this particular project so what I can do is I can just go and see what Amit has done in this particular project Amit has put detailed report on what he has worked on as a part of this IC engine simulation course right and this is just one project in one coursework right so you can see how detailed report that Amit has written now think about it right so this is the geometry that Amit is basically uh, working on right and he's cleaning up the geometry and doing detailed analysis and all this is visible to the whole general public Right. So what do I mean by whole general public? So anyone can visit Amit's profile. So even you can visit Amit's profile. I'm putting Amit's profile in the description so that you can go and take a look at it. Right. What happens? Think about it. So you finish our master course. Right. You have these many projects. Right. And now you are basically putting this URL in your uh, resume. Right. So now you're putting this link, basically your portfolio link in your resume and sending it out. Recruiters will basically click on that link and take a look at all the projects that you have done. Whereas the person that is applying with you will only say software skills, solid work, software skills converge. So when he only says, so I know software skill as solid work or converge and he does not show any project. But in the other hand, you have a detailed project portfolio who do you think will get more preference? So you will be called for an interview first, right? So that's the first step of it, right? So, but this is just half, like probably 50% of it. 
what what's the remaining 50 percentage so the project portfolio happens as you work on the course itself right what's the remaining 50 percentage the remaining 50 percentage is where our skilling's customer success team comes into play right so let's see what the skilling customer success team does so the career success team what has a three-step process right the first step is to review all your social platforms and your resume so for example projects.skilling.com your page on projects.skilling.com your resume and your linkedin profile skillings team will assign one individual mentor to review all the uh, all the profiles and make sure that you have the right profile providing the right skills providing the right seo targets for your recruiters in order to make sure you are searchable and you come in the first when they search for good candidates in your domain of expertise right that's step one step two is basically getting you 15 job interviews right and how do we do that we basically do it with three steps the first step is skilling partner companies so skilling partner companies is basically where we partner with companies to help them recruit high quality talent right we do not get any commission this is a skilling is a zero cost hiring platform right i want to make it clear the companies we do not charge the companies but what we do is we make sure the companies hire the best talents from us by providing them the portfolio so we provide them the portfolio of students that we have and they go through the portfolio and pick the students and then call for interviews right that is the first step then skilling has an internal job database so skilling basically scrapes the internet for all the jobs posted in mechanical engineering automotive and aerospace engineering domains right so any job posted anywhere in india or in the us or europe we know that right we know that job and we will basically send you that job notification if you are in the career success phase that's step two step three is teaching you the art of applying for a job right so we not only help you we also teach you how to do all these things so what happens why is this important so that in the future after three years if you want to look for a job change so you can use the same process that helped you get the first job right so these are the this is the three things that we do in step two okay now you got an interview right how do we make sure you maximize the interview and get a job finally that's very important right so how do we do that well that's where we we have another three-step process right so there is a mock tool test right so if you are a mechanical automotive and aerospace engineer and if you are looking for a particular uh, engineering role you definitely will have a tool test right the second thing is uh, you will have a technical test so skilling provides you a list of faqs domain based faq so that you can prepare for your technical interview then we provide a mock technical test as well so the mock tool test and mock technical interview we do it at least three to five times right in in the whole process and what we do is every interview that you go we basically get the feedback from the interviewers and incorporate into the system so that the next interview you have already fixed what you lagged in the previous interview right over a period of time what we have seen is anyone who has attended at least 10 interviews has already got a job right we have 160 plus placements right now and we can confidently say this is the whole process that we do in order to get a job right so if anyone comes to you and says hey uh, a skilling gets you a job just because they are partnered with a company and that company basically hires uh, you all you need to do is pay skilling to enroll in our course the answer is they, they are bluffing you the actual re uh, reality you will get placed after a skilling master course is because that's a whole process right you basically enroll in our course you work on four projects every coursework you end up as a master course you end up working more than 20 plus projects after 20 plus projects you have a strong portfolio then our customer success team basically reviews your uh, portfolio your resume your linkedin page then we start scheduling your interviews and in order for you to do very well in the interviews we provide tool test mock tool test mock technical test mock tech interviews right and after this we basically do a, a continuous loop of feedback from each of our or each of your interviews in order to make sure you are better than your last interview and yes it is a long process right 
we are not saying we just give us money we will get you a job in two days no we are not a consultancy we are a upskilling platform and if you enroll in a skilling course you will not only get a job you will be set for your life because your fundamentals will be strengthened and that's what you are signing up for you are signing up for strengthening your fundamentals you are signing up for learning life skills you are signing up for a job after you finish your master course okay great if you have any other questions please put it in the comment we will uh, take a look at it and uh, probably answer that as well okay thank you guys